Do you remember the spell you used to protect the book? Ah, of course I do. It was... Wait... Huh? No! Not falling for your cunning little rotten children tricks. Mmm, dang. Thought I had you then. You'll never have my book. Never. Kick it! I'm on your side, you know. I get it. I hate children too. Eh? Truly, they are the worst. So annoying, right? If I had my way, I wouldn't be a child anymore. I can't wait to be an adult. Yes, well, you are a stinking rotten child, so deal with it. I just wish... I wish one day I'll grow up to be a great and intelligent witch like you. Ha! Like me? <laughs> That's impossible. You'll never be as great at being a witch as me. No one will! Right. No one could ever be as great a witch as you are. Exactly. See, you're finally getting it. For a dirty, rotten, good-for-nothing child, you're not completely stupid. If you keep at it, you could at least be a slightly not-completely terrible witch. Maybe. I've dabbled in protection spells a little bit. Do you think I could figure it out? Kekeke! <laughs> Figure it out? You're starting to see how great I am. What do you think? No, it's true. I admit, you're just way too good a witch. There's no way I could hope to know such brilliant spells as yours. Right! Exactly right! I remember everything in my clever, clever brain. And no one knows except me. Do you remember the spell you used to protect the book? I bet it was something way too clever for me. Oh, of course it was. Spellbook, spellbook, dost thou see? The best recipes for children are bound within thee. There's not a cookbook or... Hold on. Ah, wait! No, no, no! <laughs> ah, curses, curses, curses! Well, whatever! You didn't hear it all, so it's useless. So, ha! I'm never talking to you again, and you'll never hear the rest. So, joke's on you. Ah, stupid, rotten children. Think you're all so clever? Stupid little... I'll eat you all. Show you. This could be enough. I'll see if the sorceress knows the spell from just this bit. I think I might know at least some of the chant if that helps. Spellbook, spellbook, dost thou see? The best recipes for children are bound within thee. There's not a cookbook or... And that was it. That's all I could get from her. Oh, ha, huh. oh my, so simple. Though I should have expected as much from a mere mill witch. It's an owner's enchantment. Meaning it has been given the mind to look after the mill witch. You just need a chant to remind it of why it should be helping you instead. Oh, really? I have to make the book feel bad for me? Uh, sure, something like that. 
The chant to break it is as follows, so listen close, child. Spellbook, spellbook, dost thou see? My cursed grandpa is waiting for thee. There's not a more powerful spellbook in sight. Teach us the cure from your pages so white. That's it. Speak those words and the book is yours. Oh, okay. Got it. I think... I best get looking for these objects then. Um, yes. Okay. I'll see you soon then, with the objects. Okay then. so far. Right, let's see if this works. Ahem! Spellbook, spellbook, dost thou see? My cursed grandpa is waiting for thee. There's not a more powerful spellbook in sight. Teach us the cure from your pages so white. Aha! Success! It was something... something about me being brave. No, wait, that's all my stories. Wait, yes, that's it. By Jove, I remember now. The story about the thieves. Now, okay. And there I was, the band of thieves all around, their eyes on the royal jewels. Oh, yes, that's right. This story gets better every time you tell it, I think. And just then, as I raise the sword, light glinting bright off my steel... Sir, more boards just in! Wait, no, wait, not at this bit again! You always ruin it for me! It's the girl again, sir! She's been spoiled just now! She was seen making her way to the alley behind the church, sir! By the stars! She must have walked right past the tavern! The nerve! Ah, uh, also, sir, it is said she arrived in town with a different ally, sir! Uh, I... I should probably, uh, bid you farewell now. A strange mustachio gentleman was the witness's description, sir. The devil? An ally, you say? Oh, dear. And so not only did I put an end to her catching kids now, but I also got the book. Yes, wouldn't want any more kids captured, would we? Pardon? No, nothing. It's a great good you've done, sure. That's it. We have all the items, finally. All right. And we can make the cure now, right? Indeed, yes. Ha ha ha. A cure indeed. Let's begin. For what was forged, suppress the malign. For what I reflect, return what is mine. Fool. I... I'm sorry? Ooh. Now, to finish what I started, child. No, no, it can't be. <gasps> M Madame? Oh, Your Highness! Huh. Since you incompetent monkeys are incapable of doing your own job, I've followed the wanted criminal and apprehended her myself. Now, seize her at once. Yes, Your Highness, Highness at, once. at once. Highness? Throw her into the dungeons. Despite all of Anna's brave efforts, the witch's trickery prevailed. All was for Winfrieda's gain. And now, somehow under the witch's command, the guards tore the newly forged friendship apart. Plead as she might, the girl was taken away and locked in the depths of the darkest of dungeons. 
In this most dire of hour, Anna could not help but lament, for her hopes for a cure had been all but dashed. You're back from the village. Anna, where were you? Grandpa, we've been through this before. You know how I feel about you being out at night. But I'm fine. You don't have to worry so much. I do. I really do. Oh, if only you knew what lurks outside the farm, what evils there are in the world, what they've done to... I'm all right. I'm all right. Are... are you okay? What happened? Please, just... <laughs> if you could, I could find some medicine from the cabinet. Oh no, it's locked! The key. It's... Uh, the fireplace. Listen to me. I... I know you feel like you have to find help, but... Whatever happens, you must always be careful. Well, what do you mean? Always be wary, Anna. Of everyone. Of everything. The world is tough. But you... You must be even tougher. Grandpa... Don't ever forget what I've told you. Remember, however near or far we may be. In our hearts, we carry our family. into now. I thought I was helping, but but all I've done is made things worse. I've only helped Winfrieda with whatever wicked plans she has, and now Ben is gone and I I don't know where they've taken him. Now I I can't save you anymore, Grandpa. <laughs> I should have been more careful like you said. I should have listened. I... I... <laughs> I'm sorry, Grandpa. Grandpa? Winfrieda? Anna? Anna, is that you? Huh? Y yes I am Anna. How did you... Who's there? Oh my, you poor, poor girl. Oh, then it really is happening. Winfrieda must have already tricked the king. Which can only mean... Hey, old man. Quit your yapping. Winfrieda? But how do you know all of this? Who are you? Anna, listen to me. You must be strong. I know things look dire, but there is still hope. I know all about you, my dear. You, your grandpa, Winfrieda. You see, I am. I said shut it! I'm warning you! But mister, I'm trapped in a prison. What can I possibly do now? What, what you've always done, my dear. Persevere. 
Find me, whatever it takes. I have to tell you, you need to know that... Jeez, what part of shut it don't you get, huh? One more word out of you. Please, hurry. Well, uh, okay, I'll do it. I'll come find you, somehow. Um, excuse me, sir? Huh? You say something? Is there any way to visit other prisoners? No. But don't we get to have meals together or something? No. Yard time, dodgeball, board games night, anything? No. Jeez. Do you even know where you are? You're in maximum confinement. Don't make this any harder on yourself than it needs to be, yeah? You ain't getting nothing like that, not ever. Maximum? But I don't even know what I did wrong. Did not just anyone get thrown in this cell, all right? Someone out there is seriously spooked by you. Over time shifts for some child. Ridiculous. I thought things were bad enough before. Okay, listen. As bizarre as this may sound, Winfrieda is an evil witch. She's got something evil planned and you have to stop her. Winfrieda? Who's Winfrieda? Look, save your breath, all right? I've heard it all before. The woman who had me arrested. The guards, they took orders from her. You have to listen to me. I don't have to do nothing for you. I do enough already in this stinking place as it is. Have you seen a bear prisoner? Did anyone come in here after me? What? No. Oh, well, there are those three in the cages, but they came in before you. Three? Oh, can I see them? No, nope, no visitors. Now get back. You don't seem to enjoy this job much, huh? An overworked, no bonus, zero health insurance, position below minimum wage, and a practically non-existent union? It's the best! Jeez, kid, give me a break already. Well, why don't you quit? You look really tired. I think you should quit. Nice try. But you'll have to do better than that. I need the pay, little as it may be. And besides, in this place, you need a form just to get a form to apply for a form of complaint. And don't even get me started on the so-called union. Postponing meetings again and again until they never take place. Easier to put up and shut up. In fact, I highly recommend it. Uh, never mind. Huh? It should be close. It was forward twice, then head south. Left, right, left, then... Oh, right! And here we are. Hello again, my dear. Reynard! My gosh! Keep your voice down. You'll get taken away, too. Oh, pish posh. I know of this fellow here, and he's as deaf as a doorknob. And even if he weren't, he's certainly not the type to go above and beyond his duties, if you follow. Oh, I see. Oh, but Reynard, where do I start? You came all this way? For me? Well, I'm afraid I can't offer much in the way of brute egress. However, it is true. I have indeed come to offer my assistance in this dire situation. Though how, I'm not quite sure. Oh, Reynard, thank you. Even if... even if I'm stuck here forever, I appreciate that you came. M my dear, to have your usual high spirits so down. Come now. Let's not have the selfish behaviors of the wicked break that youthful bright spirit of yours.
Do you know what happened to Ben? Uh, no. That I'm afraid I do not. I followed the guards who brought you here, but as for him... It's... it's okay. Wait, you know this guard? But how? Unfortunately, him and his hellish bureaucratic nightmare of an institution. Believe you me, though, it is indeed escapable, albeit with a little wit. The, uh, gentleman who runs this establishment, well, the key is to appeal to his devilish side, so to speak. Reach him, and you will find the red tape he poses can always be cut through with a sharp mind, you see. Uh, not really. But if you've gotten out before, then, then that means at least it's doable. I think the guard wants to quit, Reynard, but I'm not doing a very good job convincing him. Indeed. In removing the guard, you would have free reign in escaping the cell. Clever girl. Yeah, but, well, he said something about union meetings, whatever that is. Ah, indeed. Leave it with me. I have just the thing in mind for this. Back in a tick, my dear. But, huh? Where's he gone to now? And what is a union, anyway? And... Why has Raynar come all this way to help me? <clears throat> Attention all Union members! An emergency action seminar will commence shortly in the Staff Hall. I repeat, all Union members report to the Staff Hall. Please prepare issues for discussion prior to seminar commencement. Well, it's about time, too. I'll give them issues for discussion, all right? I should have listened to Grandpa. The world really is full of evils outside the farm. Everyone... everyone lies and uses people and... and... and maybe Reynard is just going to use me too. My, my. Haven't we grown into a rather skeptical young lady, hmm? Oh, well, no, I mean... I'm sorry. That was rude of me. You're only trying to help, and... and I just... Never mind, dear, never mind. We shall return to the task at hand, shall we? Yes, yes, of course. But what was that about? There's no meeting in truth, though I imagine it will take some time for it to catch on. Resourcefulness, as you may recall my saying so. Well, that's one step closer to escape, then. Better push on, then, I suppose. With that enthusiastic gesture, I resign to somewhere more hidden, as it befits me. If you find a means for my assistance, call my name here. I shan't be far, my dear. I've had my share of mattress inspecting for the day, I think. Most definitely not. He's just going to get in trouble with his guard again. I better not. Oh, yeah. Maybe I could pick the lock on the door. Hmm. No, it's not a bad idea, but the spring isn't shaped right for the lock. Back behind a locked door, huh? I seem to be making quite a habit out of this. I've had my share of mattress and These torches seem pretty well stuck to the wall. I don't think I'll be able to take them. This door's a bit more sturdier than the ones I've broken before. This seems to connect through to the prison cell next to me. He's just going to get in trouble with his guard again. I better not. Uh, that 
seems kind of dangerous. Perhaps not. 